What's up guys, it's me Onika321 and we've got another tutorial. This time it's on filters. Filters are these beautiful things and they, they've got a lot of functions and but the main one is to take stuff out from somewhere or off the ground and move them along. You can connect them using redstone or red um, red alloy um, wires and if I power it, as you can see, they can pick stuff out of, off the ground, they can take stuff out of chests and they're generally awesome. Oops. Let me just fix this. So you can take stuff from the ground, you can and put it onto the ground. No, from a chest and put it onto the ground. You can take it from the ground and put it onto the ground. And take it from the ground and put it into a chest. Or you can take it from a chest and put it through into a pneumatic tube. Um they're also really helpful for sorting systems. Well, uh, yeah, it's sorting systems. If you don't want to spend all that money on, um, if you don't, if you don't want to spend all that, st um, those resources on trying to get stuff, um, so it aligns in a certain way, then um, what you can do is you can go into your filter. So, for example, I've got a black tube and a white tube. Um, we're gonna make it so everything goes for the black tube and not the white tube. So you can change this color, so the items which come out now have this black thing around it. When it has the black thing around it, this means that it, go does, it can't go through any color unless the tube is black. Um, and yeah, it's um, if you want to, if you want it so uh, um, uh, it does that, then it do then you can make it so it does that. Uh, what else is there? Oh, you can also change it so only a certain type of item comes out. So, for, say, for example, this chest here is filled of random items. If you stick a timer next to it, it only takes that item and that amount of items. I can make so it takes um, other items also at the same time, though. So, if, say, for example, I take a great wool and stick it here. Now, it'll turn it... Um, it should alter... Oh, Alright, no, never mind. It takes the first one. And just keeps doing that until um chest is full or you run out of the item. So as you can see this is goddamn this is, filters are goddamn helpful in many, many ways. Um anything I missed? <laughs> um no, I haven't missed anything. So this is a, a really short tutorial on filters. As you can see, yep, they're pretty damn awesome. Take input, redstone or red alloy ingot. Also you can use um you can also use um, the tubes, redstone tubes. You can color code everything, so er you can change everything so it goes white. And if I if I was stupid enough, I could change orange, but nothing comes out anymore. So white, blank. <laughs> All right, so it's failing. <sighs> oh well. And you can use it so it takes a specific amount of a specific item in from a chest. So I'm gonna change it so it's faster. Just to prove to you. Oops. There we go. It's gonna take half this actually just stick it in here. But yeah, as you can see, it takes that item out and um it switched from one of them to the next one. Just take all of this. Look, nine, eight, seven, six. It's finished that, and there's no more of that anymore. So it stops taking the item out and goes to the next color, and which I can move somewhere else. Say, for example, that. See, it doesn't take any of these. So anyway, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. This is me and Nico Free to One signing out.